Hi uh, YouTube, Edward and Sarah Tyndall and Sandball Tyndall here in macro mode. Sorry about the last video with the rainbow bow and y'all didn't get to see it in all its glory. But here, we're going to take her, this lovely girl, off of her substrate. We're going to feed her on some white. Take that out. Is she also or what? Can she eat that? I don't think she can eat that big thing, can she? Hmm? Has she ever ate anything this big? Huh? Yes. I don't think she can eat this. Yes, she can. Well, a good rule of thumb is to never feed a snake something bigger than its center mass, and this is bigger than the center mass of the snake. She's not paying no attention to it because she probably wants something smaller. Or she's not hungry. Yeah, that's perfect right there. Or she's just not hungry tonight. Well, y'all haven't seen her in a while anyway, so... Sorry, I'm having trouble. Yeah. It's just sort of a small one. Then we got some tiger sand boas too, if this one don't want to eat. Don't seem hungry. For some reason. It's been a couple weeks since she ate, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. What is her deal then? Alright, where are we going next? Watch this, this is the cool part. We're gonna see. I'm gonna touch this too. Watch this awesomeness. This is very Disturbingly satisfying for some reason. There's a Mickey Mouse on her. Check it out, people. This is awesome. I love macro mode. Look at that saw tail. Well, it's a thicker grip on that tail right there for propelling through sand. And she is gone. Alright, next. That was awesome. That's some of the best footage ever of a sandboa going into some strength I have ever seen. And here we have a tiger. Whoa. Whoa. Tiger sand boa. Hit. Hit albino. Okay, do not seem to be hungry for some reason. Now we're just going to have to look at this video as a video where you get to see an update on the snakes because they're not hungry tonight. The reason why they're not eating is because they're not in an empty tote with a lid on. Okay, put them in an empty tote with a lid on while they're macro mode, you won't get nothing. I refuse to believe that because I have snakes eat off of my body. Put it in an empty tube. I'll try Sarah's method. Watch her, uh, watch her grab it so I put it in there and then put it in mouth.
Well, maybe you're right, sir. They uh, have always been fed like that. I wanted to give you all a better view. Once you train a snake to something, it's hard to get them out of that. And they've always been trained to be feeding out of a clear plastic empty tote. They're filling on the tote that they're so used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something's just not. That is a pretty animal, though, isn't it? Reminds me of a bowling ball. I seen in a bowling alley one time. It was all marbled like that. Same color. It's cool to watch an animal eat something. You know, I get a lot of uh, hate comments, and I see them on other people's videos that about people mad because other people think it's entertaining to watch an animal eat another animal. But there's this new thing going around that I've been seeing all over the place, and I'm kind of into that too. Watching women eat animals that were alive, like gigantic lobsters and big crabs and different seafoods and stuff. Now I know we are not no better than these snakes if we're eating and filming ourselves eating. And I'm the selfie king of food pigs, so I know I'm a foodie from way back. At least you don't offer and go, mmm, and then try to say, hey, you want a bite? Oh, yeah. I know you're talking about that black woman on the big lobster. Oh, yeah. Yep. I want, to, I want to know where she got that big lobster. She had a lobster that was like 40 or 50 pounds. Publix, I think. Huh? Publix, I think. Publix? Publix don't have no lobster that big. That lobster like could have ate Publix. <laughs> Somebody went out and found that lobster specifically for her, probably. It's no telling. I wish I knew how to put a link to that thing in the description so everybody can see that big lobster. <laughs> it was unbelievable. One claw could have filled me up and I can eat. If y'all think it's interesting to see how these jaws unhinge and eat something like this, Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I love reading your comments. I can hear someone saying, Sarah told you so. Yep. Down below. I wonder who mm -hmm. that could be. Could be Becky. Could be Allison. Could be Kemper do. <laughs> Could be a lot of them. And when they get set, they get set in their ways that when they want something how they want it, they want it. This is a perfect example of how you can train a snake though. Snakes that 
never eat in their pen lose their food aggression when you're opening their pen so it is better to take them out of their pen and put them in something else Scar eats in his pen all the time so he's always very food aggressive I think I just seen the Kloika yeah, it's right there. I think, that, I think I'm saying that right. Like a breathing tube. It's like a little tongue with a straw. They can stick out the side of their mouth because they need a breath of air. It needs to be a little bit wet. If it was wet, it would go down easier. Bring that water over here. looks like a CGI animated Shaking it around, it's making her mad. Little sand noodle. They're so cute. Yeah, don't they look like a CGI animated thing? <coughs> Makes you wonder. Two are the same kind, right? Mm -hmm. All right, my friend. You know what? This video is getting too long. I am tired. I'm probably going to let Sarah feed the rest of these off cam. I got to see this at least, and uh, I'm going to turn in for the night because I got to go back to the doctor's in the morning with my grandpa, and uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Not if I normally put, hold it for and she pushes it down. Here we are. She's struggling with it a little bit, but Sandboas need small food <laughs> stuffs. Mm -hmm. Yep, I gotta go upload these videos for you guys too. We got three videos to upload. The two before this one and this one by the time y'all see it. I want to thank you all for watching if you made it this far. see them very often ever because they're buried down all the time but when you dig them out wow what a buried treasure indeed 
Yeah, that's a piece of love. Oh, mm -hmm. happiness, good shit, everything. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. maybe. Like, subscribe, friends, tell, sub, bell, ring. Edward Tindall out.